hey so welcome back to brown sugar glam and if you are new then welcome um i'm definitely excited about the collection that i received from christopher buckle yesterday and i had couldn't wait to share it with you so i had to do this for you if you like this look stay tuned but this is definitely a first impressions video where i explain what i like and what is a little you know iffy so uh if you like it then one second moving on <laughs> to uh the next venture but um definitely if you like the look then um and you like what you learned then like my video um you will also be able to find this blog on brownsugarglam.com where there'll be more details in depth than well maybe so maybe not <laughs> but details images pictures of the makeup so that you can see um what everything looks like so then this collection um it was a there's so much stuff that came that he sent that was really that's really good so like it uh hang on uh triplicity let me get it right triplicity perfecting foundation stick from christopher buckle and here's what the packaging looks like this is what i'm like so infatuated with if you see the packaging there look how pretty his packaging is and then um Here's the actual stick, so I'm really interested to see how this matches with my skin. It kind of looked like it did, but there's the stick right there. So I can't wait to see how this looks. So first impressions, come on. I hope it matches. Um, yeah, I need to match. So now that looks, it looks very, very close. So let's see. Yeah, look at that. That that matches good. So I'm gonna get my other. Let's see. I need full coverage. So this definitely is a full coverage. Now let's do one side so you can see. You can really see. Okay, okay. I'm feeling it. Mm -hmm. It blends really good. It's smooth. It's really smooth. It doesn't remind me of anything I've used before. It smells really good fresh and clean like got a real clean fresh i'm kind of excited about the rest <laughs> really nice so no primer i didn't I do any primer or anything um he didn't send a primer so i really want to do just a full face using just what he sent but yeah set really good with no i didn't use a primer set really good without it so that's uh pretty good and it's got like a matte look to it it's not too shiny it's not too shiny at all so which i hate i really do hate a shiny i really hate a shiny foundation and it smells like i said it smells really good so yeah okay <laughs> a brunette um brunette brow enhancing pomade and powder so you have the powder on top and the actual pomade on the bottom so yeah so um, let's see now I'm really going to try it out I got into my close-up mirror for this one so I can really make sure, you know, really make sure that I make sure that I make sure, make sure. <laughs> I'm going to be using this one right here, the dark one, since I have like darker. You can also mix them too, so it's kind of cool. You can kind of do a little bit of mixing if you want, but no, I'm going to do the darker one and see. Let's see what it look, what it look like.
Okay, okay. So I'm just gonna, um, you know, just kind of fill in a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back with the gel. I'm gonna use the gel now on the bottom. It's looking good. It's looking real good. I'm, I'm feeling him. I'm feeling his brows. Yep. Now you got your, you know, you got your little parts. The little sparse areas. Just fill that right on in. And that's what the powder's for, but so I'll put a little bit more powder. a little bit more powder on that and just fill that right on in. Okay, 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 I like it, I like it. And cute little brushes. Look at a cute brush. Tell me it ain't cute. <laughs> so blend that out, let's see. Okay. Yep, that's good, that's, that's really cute. That's really cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like his brows. I like the brows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's it. Mm-hmm. Palette, let's see. There we go. Premier palette. The colors inside. Look how pretty the colors are with brushes as well. So here's a brush he sent too. So it's in a brush. Perfect. So, okay, so let's see what colors we're gonna do. Ooh, I like the way it's angled. Like it's like a perfect angle. So what are we going to do with this one next? Look at that, no fallout or nothing. I don't, it's clean. It's real clean. Mm -hmm. I am going to use a little bit of the, the highlighter here under this one. And it's two colors, it's like a dark one and a light one. So I'm gonna do the dark one. That is perfect, yep, it's not too light. Thank you for doing a dark and for doing a light. Thank you. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I went off camera and I finished my eyes. I went ahead and add eyelashes and mascara. So, back to share a little bit more of Christopher. But yeah, I'm feeling, I'm definitely feeling my eyes. It is definitely, that palette is definitely a winner. The Premier palette, yeah, a winner. So, next I'm going to try his, he has a, um, scalp duo scalp cover duo and what it is is it's good for thinning spots that you might have it has a wax and he has a powder so so you can see what that looks like he has a wax and a powder for thin areas that you will have in your like probably for like your hairline where you know your hairline so like i said he sends a brush with everything here's a brush he sent with it so i'm going to take a stab at it I don't normally like filling my, my hairline, but I'm definitely going to, let's give it a shot and see what it does. So I have like a thin area in here where you can see a little bit of scalp, kind of where the hair curls there. Yeah, so let's just thin that, fill that little thin spot in. You know, with my hair being dark. That should be able to fill right in. Let's see here. Hmm. And now remember, I never ever ever use anything like this before. So I'm definitely kind of taking a stab at it. I might be putting too much, it looks like. So I'm gonna keep it light on this side. Okay, so there's one side is done, one side is not. This side is done, this side is not. So, let me take my makeup brush and probably bend it a little bit better because I think it needs to look a little bit more like natural. Just to give it a fair shot. Mm-hmm. I like it though. Yep. So I'm gonna do the other side. Let's lightly fill that in. You don't need a lot, you just dab it and lightly add to that hairline. Yep. Nope, never done it before. But do I like it? Oh yeah, I'm kind of feeling it. I think I put too much right at my hairline. But that can be fixed. So what I'm gonna do with that it almost looks like you just got your color done. You know, like I just get my color, which I did just do my color. Like a day, like two days ago or a day ago, I actually did it yesterday. So it looks like I just did my color. Kind of reminds me of that type of hairline, but it definitely is filled in nicely. Yep. So those are thinning areas. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna try his um, his translucent loose setting powder. So here's the packaging, and it's actually a light color, but it's translucent loose powder, so it should be okay. So I always want to do that, <laughs> but yeah, it's a little. That his his brush here, and. A little bit of that off and see how translucent the loose powder is. <laughs> you see it going like everywhere. So I'm going to change it up and 
use this because it's definitely going everywhere and I got it looking crazy over here so I'm not gonna let it set long just like a few minutes just to see just to duck the dust to shine off to keep me from shining <laughs> okay so here's the forever blush duo here's the package that it looks like and then inside those are your two brushes the blushes look at they got light pink I like that one is like actually not a lighter and darker, but actually um, one's like a, a soft, like a gel, cream to powder one, cream to powder one, and then you got the regular blush. So, I know this cream to powder for me does better when on this under my makeup. So, for this, I'm just gonna do it over it. So. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's some pigment on that. But I like a little bit of pigment. Mmm. That's looking nice. Mm-hmm. Mm now let's see. Kiss long wear lipstick. Got two shades. Kissed. I'm gonna go ahead and put kissed on. and creamy tender let's see what tender looks like here's my nude color y'all know I'm, I love a nude I'm all for a nude Pinky look. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is really nice. So those are my first impressions of the Christopher Christopher Buckle collection. I like it. I like everything. I think the translucent powder can be kind of like everywhere, but um, and then for that one, you, you're not going to really be able to bake because it seems like the longer you bake, the bigger your pores get. <laughs> so it definitely dries out the skin like it needs to. I think that, um, probably should prime first, um, you know, before using it, then your pores will be even smaller than mine, but I definitely wanted to use, um, I want this to use what he sent and I don't really use want to use a whole lot of other products with it. So I could kind of truly see. Um, his face so Christopher Buck uh, the Christopher buckle collection yeah you did it Christopher you did it Christopher you did the thing you did the thing um, it's definitely um, I would buy it you know I would definitely buy the foundation is the perfect match it's really hard to match me I mean like really hard because I'm not I don't really have a big yellow uh, I don't have a lot of yellow and I don't have a lot of red. So the wrong color make me look orangey and a really bad cast. So yeah, bravo on the shade match. Bravo on um, 
the eyeshadow palette um, definitely my biggest likes are the eyeshadow palette and I like the blush well shoot I like the whole collection I like the neutral nude lips um, the palette the blush is really pigmented so I can see it on me which I can appreciate and the translucent powder is a bit powdery kind of goes everywhere I mean it is powder but it also dries out the skin so I can't wait to see what it's like you know in two three hours so I'll check back on two three hours to see what it's look like but um, definitely I would give it a try so if you like the Christopher Buckle collection, then definitely you can buy his products and it'll, it'll be in the link below just for you to give it a try out. Um, but yeah, that's it, baby. She ready now. The hairline, yeah, they did a thing with the hairline. Like I can't see no thinness or nothing. So it's got me looking fresh, <laughs> fresh. Um, what else? Okay, so if you liked everything that you saw today, you learned anything, found it informative. If you like me, like my video, and let your girl know by liking the video. You can also subscribe, share your love by sharing, and continue to follow me all over my uh, links, my social media links, which are the blog, Twitter, Instagram. I'm everywhere, especially Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. So see you around, or see you next time on the next YouTube video.